All right, so in this review here, we're gonna do a little deeper dive on the motor's flea cost repair information. And we're specifically gonna talk about fault codes. So I think as you watch these videos, you'll start to get a sense for kind of the underlying toe or the underlying theme of what we see with motors fleet cross. So motors does have this tab called truck service and you make a selection, right? So I can select my 2016 Freightliner. I picked a Cascadia and I picked a Cummins ISX 15 liter. Um, and we could obviously pick some other ones here. And by the way, um, there, there's just, there's some issues I have with all these menu options as well, which we'll get into some other, other videos. Uh, but let's do this. So here's the thing. So supposedly you still make these selections and what it does then is it populates this, these fields, right? So if I would have picked a DD 13, it will show me some different fields and let's go back to the ISX. Um, the one down here kind of shows everything that's available in the entire, the entire platform. Um, so this is the filter. So the problem is number one, the filters don't work. So if I go in here to relevant vehicle systems and I go to Freightliner, um, and I want to look for fault codes. It took me a long time to find this actually. I did it before the video, uh, but fault codes are buried under performance, um, is usually where they have them. So what we already see is there's no body controller fault codes. There's no ADAS fault codes. Um, maybe there's some brake fault codes in here somewhere. I, I really doubt it. Um, anti-lock brake stability control. Actually, there probably is, right? So this is, again, the problem though, is they're listing out four different ABS systems. Um, I can tell you there is 0% chance there is a Kelsey Hayes hydraulic brake system or a Teves ABS system on this vehicle. Those things just weren't even built on uh, North American model trucks for class eight. So um, number one, the, the filters are, are just weird. So again, I'll go like airbags. Um, so yeah, it shows Freightliner Cascadia because that's what I selected, but it also shows Century Class and Dodge Ram 4500s and 5500s. And I, I really don't know why. None of it really makes any particular sense. Um, so, but anyway, let's go back to, we're trying to find fault codes for Cummins ISX 15. So what we would do, do here is we go to, uh, engine Cummins, um, and then we would have to navigate down here. And again, it took a while for me to figure out where this was. I thought it was under engines or engine electrical, but I turned to performance. So I go to performance. Um, and then, uh, even though I'm in here, it still took me a while to find it. I had to go here to image engine controls. And now here's the, another peculiar thing. I've already selected the 2016. Why are you showing me options for 1990 through 1998 or Pacer engine control systems or Pacer? Like th those just aren't even applicable. Uh, so we don't like that. Um, and then we do select this. Let's go here to troubleshooting, right? Um, and what we see here is we have a page of, of a lot of data. Um, and this is not actually the fault codes. These are just troubleshooting symptoms. So where, where are the symptoms then? Um, diagnose and testing. Let's, let's go check that one out. All right. So it's loading up the page here and you can see this is a big page now. Uh, and we have to go down. So the, the interesting thing here is, is they have things kind of segregated out. We've already said it's an ISX 15 liter, but now they're going to put some EGR testing fault codes here. Uh, nothing searchable. And then we find a big group here of, of codes. So it's saying, Hey, here's the table for all the codes that apply to an ISB 67, an ISL 9, ISX 12, an ISX 11.9 and an ISX 15. Uh, so it's given a, it's given a very big list. Um, and I can tell you from experience that you can't build one fault code table that applies to every ISX 15 essentially built from 2007 through 2016. They're taking three emission years and kind of just jamming everything in there. So that's kind of problem, problem one. Uh, problem two is that I can't search anything here, right? So I can't do like control F and I can't, I can't, there's no box to search. So I just have to kind of scroll through and look and that presents a second problem. And that problem is, is the codes. So the only code they're showing you here is the OEM flash code. Now, if you've ever used a diagnostic tool or an in-cab display or an ELD device or an inexpensive code reader, 
you don't get the OEM flash code. You get these things called SPNs and FMIs and source addresses and MIDs and PIDs, all these acronyms that unless you're in our industry, you're familiar with, but I, I can't search by those. So unless I have a really high-end piece of software, uh, the OEM software or a Texa or Kajali, where they show you the OEM flash code and they show you those generic codes, I wouldn't even be able to find or search what I'm looking for. Uh, so let's just go into one of these though, to show you kind of what they did. So let's go into this one, right? So this is code 322. So I'm going to go in here and what they did here is they just went into Cummins's repair information and took screenshots. And, um, in some cases removed the Cummins logos and other cases didn't. Um, but they, they have, and you, again, you can't search their, their images. You can't highlight, copy, do anything. Um, you can even see they talk about using Cummins Insight. It's just a copy and paste job right from the OEM information is, is what this is. So then you get all your troubleshooting trees uh, through this whole thing. So uh, the irony being here is you can actually download Cummins Insight, not license it and register it, and still open up the help file to get all this stuff anyway for free. Uh, but they, you know, just took the copy paste job kind of in here. So, so I guess what I'm trying to say in this video is number one, the filters really don't do anything. Number two, even when you do get the trees that apply, they don't actually all apply and it takes you a while to figure out where they have things buried. And when you do find it, you may not even be able to find the code you're looking for because it's um, just, you have the OEM only code. You may not have that on the tool you have. So to show you that example is most uh, diagnostic tools that you read or a cab display will say SPN at 651, FMI 5. They're not gonna show you OEM fault code 322. Very few tools have that mapping. Uh, so that's that's the problem. So let me compare that to our platform on diesel repair. So this is diesel repair. This is our platform. And we have a, a specific truck fault codes module. And we can actually get to that a couple ways. So number one, if you had a VIN, you could type it in here. It'll decode it and you can hit a button and it'll auto populate these fields. In this case, I don't have a VIN handy, but I'm going to go to Cummins. I'm going to go to, I think, what do we pick? 2017. Is that what we picked? I think it was. Um, and then we want the ISX was the ISX 15. So let's, let me just go back there for a second. Make sure I got the right modules. Um, 2016 Freightliner Cascadia with an ISX 15. So it doesn't matter what truck chassis it's in a 15, an ISX 15, um, and a 2016 is going to be the same codes no matter what it's in. So let me flip that over to 2016. Let me flip that over to ISX 15. And again, let's just try to find our code. So I'll show you the difference here. So in this case, I want code 322, right? 322 um, or SPN 651. So 322 or 651. Let's go in here and type 651 and I'll hit search. And what you'll see is it searches for SPN 651, which is also OEM flash code. 322. So we land you right there. Customers for free can read all the quick repair information on that code. And we, we just, we just give you, um, the, the simplified, Hey, possible causes with a single injector fault code. It's one of these four things, possible causes with multiple injector fault codes. It's one of these things. So we give you that kind of quick repair information. And the other thing we do for paid users is paid users get our step-by-step -step troubleshooting tree that has original artwork. We didn't copy and paste things from the OEM and they can go through here and they can diagnose and check and, and do all these things with color coded. And by the way, these are all the same, no matter what manufacturer you're on or which one you're looking at. So uh, with all that said, I hope that gives you a little bit of a glimpse on what is better uh, or what's what you get with motors versus what you get with diesel laptops. And the biggest point I have to also make is not all the codes are in here. And again, you'll see this in the other videos we do. Even when they show you information, you gotta take it with a huge grain of salt that it's actually the right information. Um, I can tell you troubleshooting a fault code, no matter what engine you have, uh, because that's the way they broke it down. They're saying it's the same troubleshooting for all these engines. It is not. Uh, there are definitely some variations and some differences in that entire thing. So, uh, and the other part of this is you can see as you go down here, 
um, it gets really difficult to go find uh, all the right, the actual right tables. They just, they just kind of threw it all on one page. So hope you enjoyed the video. Love it if you like, comment. Uh, we always love to hear from our people. And check out Diesel Repair. Head to repair.diesellaptops.com. Sign up for your free account and start getting access to information.